And good morning, Las Vegas and world fans. This is the fifth day of the CSI Expo here in Las Vegas, and we have the tournament that we've been looking forward to all since its inception. The mixed doubles. You have Coping Yi and Wei Tu Che, and then Kelly Fisher and Alex Kazakis. Wei Wei and Co. Kelly and Alex. This is the Predator Series format with uh, two races to four, a third uh, set to, as a decider. And things are started and underway. <laughs> and this is how close this whole tournament is, just like that lag. Yeah, we have eight teams in the tournament. You really can't pick a winner. A couple other teams offhand are Shane Van Boning and Allison Fisher, Jasmine Ocean and Albin Ocean, Tyler Steyer and Margaret Fefalova. Christina Tkach and Feder Gorst. Really star-studded field here. A little bit lower on the prize money, 10,000 up top, but I think it, it's just a very interesting format that we haven't seen in a long time. Maybe in the mid-2000s, they had a couple mixed doubles tournaments in Asia. But I don't remember in recent memory seeing a tournament like this. It's going to be fun. Neither do I, and I, I've so been looking forward to this. It's unlimited coaching, so communication is going to be a part of the overall success. It's kind of odd. Some teams, even when there's unlimited coaching, they just kind of decide to not communicate as much. Other teams will be very interactive. But keep in mind, the shot clock will still be in effect. So how fast can you uh, tell your partner what they should do and how to do it? And how fast will it take to just reach over and slap your partner because they missed an easy shot? Yeah, well, that's part of it too, right? <laughs> if one exactly. partner has something in mind and now they have another shot to consider within the 30 seconds, it can become a bit of a double cross. Well, Cohen Way to start things off with the opening break. They won the lag. And it's the same rules as we had in the Las Vegas Men's and Women's Open. Doesn't look like there'll be room for the one to pass. Kazakis is kind of going up on the pocketing angle. If it doesn't go, look at this. Your, your partner can help you with your extension. That's a, that's a little... Uh, How's that? That's a little help. He's looking at it like it passes. I guess there's room between the two four. Every match will be streamed. Uh, either on table one or this is table two. So there's th two streams going at the same time. It's all free. The best thing to do, folks, is get down to the Rio. Just come on down. I'll be like Money Hall and come on down. Hmm. Uh, Money Hall's from my hometown, fun. actually. Oh, is he really? Surprisingly. Well, now it's Drew Carey, right? Yeah. Yeah. First, what? go ahead, George. Uh, Watch the players warming up earlier, and it, it's just this is just fun all the way around. Is there money? Yes. Are they competitive? Definitely. Sure, definitely uh, enough money that they'll be. Uh, but uh, if things go through this tournament the way these two teams were acting while they were hitting balls on this table, it is going to be fun. Yeah, it's on it's on the lighter side a little sure. bit. Likely a lot of the teams have never played together before. I know Shane and Allison won a decent-sized mixed doubles tournament on the, in the Carolinas about a year ago. I would anticipate that Kelly and Alex have not. But prior, I asked Ko and uh, Wei, Wei Wei if they had, and they said yes, they've played in China uh, a couple times before. Interesting. Another side note is that Kelly and Wei Wei are actually traveling partners, friends off the table adversaries in this match yep and that friend is out of the equation right now we are at the table this is a battlefield interesting rack here a little tough cut here to the side pocket hold it for the seven just a little bit of stun Shot there from Fisher, and the Fisher-Kazakis partnership is getting through the first rack nicely here. 
by the way, we were so busy being excited. I was so busy being excited about this matchup that uh, this is Eric Corlison next to me, and this is George Teja bringing you the live action as we have uh, for the past five days, four days. This is the fifth day, so for the past four days, uh, we've been together here on table two and have enjoyed having you with us. Uh, some of you on YouTube that get in the chat, we see you sometimes, and sometimes we don't. So I see some of the good comments. I see some of the bad ones. Mm -hmm. I laugh at the bad ones and appreciate the good ones. You have to. Because Zach is likely going to be drawing up above the 10 for the same pocket here. Oh, nicely done. Nice, nice work for both of them through this first rack. Very nice work. And if you look at uh, uh, Koping Yi and Wei Wei, you can sit there and, and see that uh, to watch their opponents run out doesn't look like fun. They had a serious face when they were they were looking. A little bit of something with the scoreboard here. I'm sure they'll figure it out. And the first X on my paper goes to Kelly Fisher and Alex Kazakis. United Kingdom and Greece. I think Wei Wei and Ko are around the same age. Probably grew up together. Maybe even through junior pool in Taipei. I can help with that. I can't remember their ages right offhand. Put them both around 30, I would think. Ko is 34. Okay. And Wei Wei is, I know I did one of her matches. I've got her info, but uh, she's a character, a fun-loving young lady. Uh, breaking to make the one ball. There goes the four. No, there goes the six. No, declined. Kind of like my credit card was last <laughs> night after the, after the blackjack tables. I'm just teasing, guys. I'm trying to make fun here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still reeling back from that comment yesterday when I said, you got to hit 5 million balls. And, <laughs> and I, was, I saw how ridiculous and stupid the comment is. Gosh, I'm just making a point that it takes a lot of uh, dedication to uh, play at this level. Yeah, people, you know, all these players have been well, well over 10,000 yeah. hours of experience. A lot of them pushing 50,000 hours. challenge push here from Ko. They can get really aggressive and try to pocket the one and come over to the two. Very small area to get position on the two. Tough on the pocketing as well. It's like could Kelly's... Also, go ahead, George. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. They could also fire at the 10. Yeah, they were considering that. Just recognize They're playing serious. No oh, fun yeah. in this. Oh, definitely. The fun was to fire at the 10. <laughs> Good safe try there from Fisher. Ended up leaving the window. And you can see both both teams are going to go with the communication strategy, particularly when playing safe. If the runout's on, you'll see less communication. Both players know the right shot. I think you'll see a lot of the, in a lot of these cases the male players leading the women, the female players, but. Regardless, each player shooting will have to be com comfortable with the shot that they that they take. Left the one, but over top of the three, key ball's running into the ten. Kazakis is going to have to do some thinking here. Safes aren't obvious. You could cut the one thinly enough that it just sticks on the 10. Cue ball can track back towards the two. So that's a very thin hit. Okay, uh, just to calm some questions here in the YouTube chat. Uh, there was rumors that the push would not be allowed. 
the yarn extension. There's a that the push will not be the push is allowed. The only change to this format from the Las Vegas Open will be that they only have 30 seconds after the break instead of the full 60 seconds. Okay. That's the only change. It's races to four, not races to eight. If tied, there'll be a third and deciding set. If that deciding set is tied at three games, it goes to a shootout. Look how close this ball is to the 10, and Coe's still going to go for a jump here. He, he's an exceptional jumper. One of the best. Uh, him and Gorst are, uh, uh, um, and Filler are just some of the top jumpers in, in the world. Huge elevation. Got to get the cue ball up quickly here. Almost made it. Position is going to be tough. Cue ball's running into the four. That's if Fisher has enough of the one. She does. I mean, you could play something really creative and try to hit it thicker and run the cue ball into the ten. Oh, I think it's going to be something like you hit the four and then you create an, another angle into the side rail and come around. Nice shot. I think. Look at this. He, he was able to run. Look how this is going to turn out. There. What a shot. A little too early in the morning for applause, but that was a great shot. <laughs> I looked through the stands. And, well, um, a lot of bedhead up there. <laughs> a lot of caps, I see. It's 11 o'clock in Las Vegas, and we all know what that means. Yeah, people are on a bit of a later schedule here. Yes. Sackis will be coming back one rail here. Would, would like to take two rails, but the 10 ball looms too big going to the left. Look at Kelly already with the extension if he needed it. He's actually going to draw underneath the 10. It's a good shot, coming at the angle a little more. Nicely controlled. So Fisher and Kazak is looking real strong in the first two racks here, communicating well, getting the edge in both racks, on their way to running their second one. He wants to lay the cue ball close to where the side pocket is, so got to be careful and be aware of the side. Nicely played. Just doesn't want to get straight. And he did. She can power draw out of this. There might be a following option as well. I like the draw. Less chance of the cue ball running into the eight that way. If they hit these, these balls clean on the predator pockets. Nice shot. Interesting dynamic in this doubles tournament as well. There's three couples in the tournament. And there's a brother-sister team in, in the tournament as well. So we'll see if that, I think that can go both ways. It's like, you know, you're putting a little extra pressure on yourself because you're playing with your spouse, right? It's like, or maybe they just <laughs> communicate very well and it helps well, them along the way. These particular pairs or couples uh, seem to play quite a bit together. And they practice quite a bit together. Mm -hmm. I've heard, uh, I did commentary in Austria with uh, Jasmine and Albin. And Jasmine considers Albin, you know, best coach in the world. Okay. So she and uh, so she, she uh, you know, she'll uh, listen to what he has to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but, of course, you know, she can pull ranks. She's the older older sibling and, you know, slap a young brother in place. Mm -hmm. But uh, two games. To clarify the rulings, uh, I see some comments here and there that um, uh, the referees don't make the rules. It, the decisions are made higher up. They had a player meeting this morning with all eight pairs and discussed some of the rules. So they brought the push out back that had been taken out of the ruling or put into the rules. So the referees had nothing to do with that. Um, the players made that decision. They got it back and they agreed to the 30 seconds. 
and everything about it. The players are the ones that actually uh, bent the rules from where they were previously written in stone. Yeah, I think because it's more of an exhibition-style tournament, they were just trying to create some more action, taking away the push off the first shot. But thought better of it in the yeah. end. Now the money is theirs. Twenty-five thousand dollar prize fund. Ten thousand for first place. Five thousand for second. Third and fourth get twenty-five hundred, and fifth through eighth get twelve hundred and fifty dollars. So all pairings get paid. They can have a great dinner uh, in Las Vegas, and a couple of good bottles of champagne and wine. That's right. Kelly makes the one on the side. That was the goal there. Two balls going to be available. Real strong play from Kazakis and Fisher so far. And it is single elimination, by the way. Kazakis has natural position coming over for the two here. Doesn't want to be on the rail. See if there's any angle going to the left. That'd be ideal for Fisher. These two look like they're jellying just excellent. Sure. I think it, it would have been something like Kelly would have been invited for sure, and she knows she gets along well with Alex, so kind of picked Alex as her partner. Oh, she's got the perfect angle to get to bite just on the same line as the 10. You can see the 10 on the left side of your screen. Uh, the cue ball in that area. And she's gone a little far, Yeah, I Ale would say. Yeah, Alex still wanted to play a bit. Of, oh, she got lucky. She got straight in on the four, and they can just follow straight through the angle. But Alex told her to play a little bit more intricate, intricate cue ball position there. Stunning the ball back into the angle. Yeah. Just enough edge of the five to pocket it, coming naturally towards the six. It's funny, but this tournament, in, in this tournament, and Scotch doubles actually, um, when you're just a little bit out of line, each player will probably take a little more time and more effort to get it back into perfect line. Yeah, that's it's always the tendency yeah, exactly. when you're playing with yeah. a partner. You want to yep. leave them well, right? Sure. Yeah, I just saw I just saw that right there with Alex really striving to make sure he got the ball up and didn't bump the eight and not get on the on the five. Particularly in amateur doubles tournaments, you see that sometimes when a stronger player is playing with a weaker player. They really make an effort to get the weaker player better, and sometimes it backfires because they're trying to do too much. No weakness in this field, though. Even on that shot, knowing leaving Kelly longer is still going to be a decent play. Good shot. Perfect angle. Oh, wow. They're playing well. Oh, yeah. Well, every angle's been just pretty, like, a good example was that four ball. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a little bit on the fortunate side to get there, uh, it came up roses. A little straight, but enough angle to get up table. Alex is going to add a, or Kelly is going to add a little bit more right spin to let the cue ball release off the second rail. Nice shot, hit perfectly. Keeps opening up and it's going to go down the drain. Yeah, yeah, she almost <laughs> hit it too well yes. there. And, and this will be the third rack that they've worked their way through completely. Yeah, Alex reminding Kelly, don't touch a ball until the cue ball stops. Uh. <laughs> Got her just right. 
That would have been her first mistake of the match. Oh, if sure. That would have been a big one. <laughs> Uh, that was good. Now, how often do you see that in a tournament where there's, you know, $25,000 at stake? Yeah. <laughs> Alex is turning red. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun, some fun with him a, a, a second ago before it started. Uh, walked out and gave him all a hard time and told the referee to, to tell him there'll be no slapping. And, you know, kind of like they do uh, some of the humorous clips you see where they slap the person. There'll be none of this and none of that. All right. <laughs> they enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it because I just, uh, like I said, this is a little bit on the lighter side and uh, it can be fun for everyone. Alex going from the middle here. Oh, thought better of it. Going to go over the side rail. Wonder if Kelly told him to, don't break from the middle. Don't break from the middle. Okay. And by the way, for all you guys in the YouTube chats and stuff, uh, share the stream, like the stream, and to make it easy to come back to us when we're having these tournaments, we still have uh, another week of this, uh, subscribe to the stream. And then you'll have uh, Eric and I here uh, till you can get tired of our voices. Layup safe available behind the seven. Combo is available. I think they'll choose to play safe. They can get them real good, taking away the left side rail. Got to watch to be draped over the nine here. It's going to be right over it. Ref's there. Uh, she actually, she's, she knows how to position her body not to be close to it. Can't tell how much of the left side rail she's taken away. Good portion of it for sure. I think Ko just kind of signaling to Wei Wei, like, I got this one. I don't need any help here. Let's try there from Ko. And this, if this two ball pockets, this would be a flawless set. It does pocket. This would be a flawless set from Fisher and Kazakis. The three doesn't actually go on the side. Six is in the way of the breakout track for the three, four. Tough one here. They've decided on something. Banking the three, maybe, to the side pocket. Good call. Oh, I'm sure they didn't decide on that, but that's what came up. They didn't want to miss the two. Yeah. First miss of the rack, yeah. or first miss of the set from Fisher and Kazakis, th but they've played really well to build a strong lead here. We'll see what Cohen Way can do. They do have one extension per rack, of course, a 30 second shot clock. It's natural position to come back to the same area with the cue ball. There's not much else you can do on the 3-4. I guess you could come around three rails, four rails even, back into it and try to break it out. Try the four railer. Undercut. And this is going to come up. Roses for, uh, oh, did he get behind a four? Not quite. Not quite. Wonder if they'll get really aggressive and try Karam here just because of where the, yeah, they did. They are going to call it. With just a lot of inside. I think you have to stun off of it a bit, maybe. Oh, on the ten, you mean. Yeah. Gotcha. <coughs> I, thought, I thought it was positioned for the three. Just because where the three is. Yeah. It's for the set here. Good try. Oh, and the cue uh, ball's going to scratch. Worst case there. Something you never think about when you're shooting caroms like that. You yeah. don't think of going through the ball to scratch. They're going to be able to break out the three here, but the 10 is still tempting. He's considering both options right now. Only has 30 seconds. It's a close call. 
I, I he's think going to go off for the 10. With the three tied up, they're going to take a freebie. Or a flyer, as might be said. Yep. Two Beat ways with the cue ball behind the three. And he makes Got it. Got it. And so. they get to they get on the board. And way 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 should be breaking the balls. Since Co just uh, pocketed that one, I think they will remain in order. We'll have to find out that stipulation for sure. It could be that, or it could be that the if one player breaks one time, the other player has to break the next oh, time. Oh, it could be. They, they do it both ways. All the ins and outs there, that's right. Who broke the first time, Ko? Um, I think so. Yes, Ko broke. And he happened to, to have shot the 10 here, so it, it would be way either way. We won't know the answer right. to that yet, but we'll, we'll get that one for you soon. Good way to figure it out. I'd have never figured that out. Hmm. Good look at the couple from um, Chinese Taipei. Co, of course, have their own brand of tips. They have their own booth here at the at, at the Expo. Q Sport International Expo. Seven thousand players walking around, amateur players, button heads and taking autographs and pictures with the pros down the corridors, looking at all the banners as they walk to the ballrooms. Uh, fun time here for 10 days in Vegas. There goes the three. Spinning its way into the hole there. On the one as well. Maybe quarter the pocket blocked by the six, but he'll be going for this. Little tight, maybe half pocket. Got to be a little accurate here. You can slide it off the side. A good look at our uh, referee, James Mitchell from uh, Post Falls, Idaho. You'll see him racking for these players, making the calls. And answering the questions. Oh. Yeah, the problem there is that he had to hit the position with speed. And if he, he decided that if he caught any of the inside rail, it was probably going to rattle the pocket. So it didn't, it didn't have quite as much pocket as it seemed past the six. Played nicely. Full There's James. Full ball hook here. They can, they can bank, jump bank this. Jump bank, huh? He actually doesn't even have the jump cue out. He must have the yeah. left edge of the one. This this could be a shot you could jump with a regular. No, that's too. Uh, I should say with your with your playing cue. Up and down too quick, I think. Yes, yeah, exactly. Oh, they are going to go for the short cue. And the playing cue gives you too much power. They decided on throwing on caution jump. to the wind here. They're just going to go all in, kind of having a laugh at the gamble they're taking. But if it works out, there will be a favor to run the rack. Oh, straight in the side, too. Yeah, it was straight in the side. That's what I, was I don't thinking. know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> I was thinking bank for some reason. Yeah, you're supposed to put that straight in the side. Yeah. That, that, that's actually a jump shot that if they were playing singles, they would have looked at right away and without hesitation grabbed the jump cue and probably executed it successfully. Another chance for Wayne Co here. Big shot of the rack is going to be a combo onto the 5-7. Could choose to overplay the position and play the 5 in the same pocket as the 2-4. I feel like it's lined up well enough, though, that they'll play the combo.
Just saying, anywhere in that area, I'll have a good chance at the combo. Perfectly played there by Way. Nice and close to it. On a perfect angle to hold oh, wow. for the seven. That's ball in hand shape. Sure. <laughs> oh, but it tied up. See, all of you thought he was playing the combo when he was actually just playing safe. Mm -hmm. They're trying to grind Alex and Kelly down. <laughs> yeah. She's playing safe. She's going to try to trap him inside, and oh, it just snuck away, just barely leaked out. That was a good good idea. Concept was great actually. Just kind of difficult to hit that perfect. Yeah, cue ball was just kind of yeah. naturally laying past the seven. She was just trying to catch it either could hard to tell from the angle, but just on a little different thickness where it wasn't always gonna work out. Barely missed the play there. Did the ten Barely ball okay. help? Yes. The 10 ball helped move the cue ball towards the six and didn't get behind the eight. Power draw here from Co. Open bridge. Gonna have a strong stroke to be power draw these balls open bridge. Smooth as silk. Yeah, Q, Q came up off his hand but just kind of went like straight up in the air. Kind of like the snooker players do. Went a little far. In my opinion, and it's just an opinion, but these are the ones I think you can just shoot. You know, it's like... Coe's going to know where he wants to get. If he doesn't get exactly there, then uh, there's still going to be lots of options. Actually, I thought I thought uh, Co wanted to leave her straight for a straight drawback, and she didn't want that. She wants to power over and come off the rail. Yeah. She asked him for this angle. Okay, interesting. I saw that uh, where, where he in, uh, aimed it to for a straight and shot and a straight drawback. She asked no up here. That's a good and that, point. And that's when he changed. Yeah, covering all bases. Like, way feels like she shoots, the, you know, that mm -hmm. half ball angle better than the full ball angle. So, yeah. Going to see. The, it'll be interesting to see the interactions throughout mm -hmm. the tournament. Because I actually do that for myself. I just look at the, and That's probably why I picked up on it, because I was sitting there going, okay, would I want to come off the rail and come back towards the ball or draw it straight back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the half ball angle too. Yeah. Now, keep we'll go over the rules real quick for you. Early tens, but not on the break. It was a random draw and it is single elimination. Races to 4 if tied one apiece, it goes to a deciding set. So basically, it could be three out of five, but it's two out of three. But if tied, it goes to the third set. So it is alternate teammate break because Ko shot the 10 there and he's still breaking because okay. Way broke last break. Playing the one in the side, just barely missed. The two balls going, nope, but they all just took each other out of play. The two, three, and nine. But they've set up pretty nice for Alex and Kelly. Yeah, possible rack run here. Two's tracking slightly to the left off the three. We'll want to avoid that. I mean, first first issue here is that the cue ball is playing into the, into the corner now. Now, see, both players are accustomed to getting 60 seconds after the break. With the only change in rules was 30 seconds. They had to use their extension. 
but they've played extension free for the most part. Through three racks, so through five racks. I don't think that was exactly where Kelly was trying to get. It, it could have been, but it ends up playing real well for how the two is going to move. Cue ball is also moving the same way. As long as the seven doesn't get in between the cue ball and two. Can draw around it. I would roll into it. If you can, I think it might be playing too long, though. Oh, you're right. Now this... He's gonna, he, I don't think he can avoid the nine. Yeah, if you can get into the left side of the nine, you can play with a bunch of left spin and kind of spin out of the out of the rail there. Yeah, they're just gonna avoid the nine altogether and bank at it. It's a good play. Oh, I would have drew that ball more. She's okay over there. I think just drawing it would have been. It would have played you better on the four. Well, the good thing is that the five balls over the pocket here and the line coming off the four is perfect for the five, regardless of the speed. Yep, good natural position across table. Oh, random miss from Kazakis. That's a big one in this fifth game, sixth game of the first set. They want a little drama. They didn't want to run away with it 4-0. Hmm. They're going to flip for the last game. I'm teasing. Did you hear about the stipulation in the amateur event? If, if a match goes over two hours, the, they lag. The gameplay is done, and they lag for the remaining games in the, in the set. So they're, they're not putting up with any kind of slow play over there. I've never heard of that one. I actually did get to see. Um, I saw that and saw a couple of comments as, as I get a kick out of the social media there. But uh, uh, on how, well, if you're the lesser player, you stall and wait for two hours and rely on the lag. I actually thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> He's safe <laughs> You safe break every game. And That's and exactly. Yeah. Uh, if a if a race to four is it a race to five? Yeah. It's a, if a race to five takes two hours, find another sport. Yeah. I'm sorry, but find another sport. It's eight ball, so it could happen. But I, I the point of the the point of what they're trying to do there is eliminating slow play, which I think is good. Now I just realized what I just said, and I'm going to get blasted on social media for saying it, but. Um, this is a game of rhythm. This is a game to enjoy. This is, you know. I agree. Uh, and when you're competitive, yes, try to win. But, uh, you know, practice. Don't try to pull moves to win. Exactly. I'm going to get crucified for that. You know that, don't oh, you? Oh, you're, you're fine. <laughs> well, I know. I, I, uh, but, uh, yep. Three rails around here, I think. More room on the right side of the table. Uh, it's got to travel quite a ways. And the newer cloth coming all the way down three rails off of this is, I think he draws it. Yeah. Because I've actually, uh, even on the bar box, I had trouble getting the ball around because of the new cloth. It doesn't grab off the second or third rail. And it doesn't come around. I was thinking that as well. He might cross it over yeah. twice because there was just a little too much angle to draw it back one rail. And that's my favorite way of getting down there on, on the club table. Mm -hmm. Great oh. first set here so far. Alex had a chance to put it away. Fisher and Kazakis. Played very well in the first three ranks. Couple half mistakes after that, and we're sitting at Hill Hill now. I hope this goes all the way to the shootout. Every bit of it. Let's enjoy every aspect of this format. The only thing lacking here in this format 
is margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> a drink after every game? A drink after every game. <laughs> or a shot of tequila after every game. Could you imagine? <laughs> By the third set, <laughs> it's going to take three sets to win this, right? Yeah, you got to play three straight sets. There's this round, the semifinals, and uh, uh, quarterfinals. Well, this is like quarterfinals, so yeah. There's just three uh, three sets wins it, single elimination. So someone's going to play three sets. Others might play one or two. But it's all done today. No, I'm sorry, it's four sets. One at 11, one at 1 p.m., one at 4 p.m., and the final at 7 p.m. tonight. All Pacific time. My ball doesn't quite get there. Three balls short. First chance in the hill game, going to go to Fisher and Kazakis. Tight position on the two. Be nice if the two passes the three. Can't quite see that angle right now. No, it looks like the three is blocking the pocket. It would be a combo option, but I'd want to avoid that. Two might pass in the left side pocket. Oh boy, could this get behind the three? It's okay, I think he tried to draw into the four there with knowing that if he missed it, he'd be on this angle. That was a great shot. Four balls going to help stay there for the three. The angle it showed looked like it might run into it, but that was far away. Yeah. Fisher's strength is p is pocketing, and uh, that's a really strong strength in doubles. Mm -hmm. Particularly when you're playing, you know, Fisher's a world class player yourself. But you can kind of, she can kind of lean on Alex to play the position a little more, and her just take care of the pocketing end of it. Well, with position like that, if you're a pocketer, you're going to be happy. A little tricky to get on the five good right here because you don't really want to go to the side. Yeah, they, yeah, they are going to go side. The cue ball was going too far the, the other way. Now, if he moves the nine here, it's probably going to move into position to block the seven, so he doesn't want to move the nine. It's a stop shot for the six because that gives him just enough angle to slide over for the seven. Oh, he's running it. Boy to the nine nicely. Pretty good position for Fisher where the cue ball is naturally moving to the left. Going to have to draw at it. Nice rack here. Couple mistakes, but good recovery. Big favorites to take down the first set now. You know, I thought I saw Ko looking like he wanted a trip, Kelly, as she was walking by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Red flag. Red card. <laughs> they actually do have cards, yellow cards and red cards. I know. You saw that? Yeah. One of them is for going over your time allotted on your break. I'm not sure if that's a specific card because you, are, you already get penalized a game for that infraction. It's mostly sportsman-like stuff. Mm -hmm. And the first set is going to go to Kelly Fisher and Alex Kazakis with that 10 ball. Good set there. And this is going to be, you know, kind of the way this tournament's going to go. Uh, player's going to take a little break, and I think we'll take one too.
And we are back to live action right here at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in the Amazon Ballroom. Big pop there from Kelly. Oh, she's a good breaker. She's she, improved she nails her break them. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Made the one on the side. Three ball going the side as well. They started off with three wins in a row. Perfectly run, executed uh, for three wins. And then Ko and Wei came right back at him with three of their own games. Not quite as, you know, they weren't complete runouts the way uh, uh, Alex's and Kelly's were, but very high quality runs. Got saw some good shots, but ended up losing the first set by a game. Yeah, there was only three missed shots by each team in, in the first set, which is pretty low for doubles. It's, it's harder to play doubles at a super high level. Kelly and Alex getting through this rack nicely. Going to ha have to get short pi short side position on the nine. Possibly playing around two rails off the eight in the side. Oh, well, we got stats there. I won't need them on mine. We can read them off there. And thank you, Edwige Kavanaugh, for that information. SVB and Allison Fisher have won the first set over Tyler Steyer and Margaret Fefilova Steyer. And as you know here in our, on our table, the pairing at the table won the first set. And on their way to win the first game of the second set. Can choose either shot here. I feel like it's gonna. She's gonna lean towards the three rail one. If she is straight enough, she'll consider coming straight across. Shot not to hit the nine. Got around it nicely. Yeah, straight in. Are they? Yeah, straight in would actually be a bit of a bad spot here because yes, you uh, can't roll through it. And he's on the rail on top of it. Looks like he's gonna try to elevate here. Yeah. Uh, looks like he. Oh, he's got a small angle going yeah. to the left. Shot. Just so enough to work with. Yeah, good opening break and run here from Fisher and Kazaka, starting the second set off similarly to the first set. Wouldn't you know it, one of the few times that I actually open up the YouTube chat so I can kind of interact a little bit, and most of it is in Taiwanese. Sure. And well, I can't read it. Well, we have the Taiwanese superstars. <laughs> yes, I love here. having them here. You know, uh, but uh, all our American friends are over watching SVB and Nelson Fisher and Tyler Steyer and, and his wife, Margaret. You know, one day I think there'll be AI where you can just say... I want my, my YouTube chat all in, English, all in English, and it'll just and come up like that. That would be a, that would be actually fantastic because, I mean, a little bit ago, I looked at the chat, and there was what? There's like eh, there's maybe 20 comments that you can see, and they were all in Taiwanese. Mm -hmm. Ah, someone from Taiwan says, it's great to hear the commentator check the comments here and answer the questions. It's something I actually like doing, but sometimes it can get pretty rude, so we stay away from it. Four rails in the corner there, perfectly on the one. I'll tell you what, if Wei Wei's just kind of looking up, like didn't expect the, this doubles to be this offensive. If they keep playing like this, they'll be a force to win this tournament.
Yeah, they've played exceptionally well. Great control. Uh, I don't think they've been out of line yet. No. Just the one missed ball from Alex, which is going to happen. Going to get behind. Ooh, I was going to say going to get behind the six here, though. Uh, yeah, that'll happen over the course of a set, but they've played very well. And the young lady standing behind Kelly on your screen there is uh, actually one of our media uh, young ladies. She d interviews the players afterwards. Her name is Katie. Uh, she interviews the players and does videos. You'll see some videos on Facebook where they uh, show the corridors at the Rio that have all the banners that you walk down to get to the ballrooms. And uh, Kelly here doing a great job with this, looking at the five, looking down the throat of a 5-10 combo. Next. Yeah. yeah, sorry, George. Yeah, check that out, guys. There's a lot of, you know, behind the scenes sure. content. It's on Predator Pro Billiard Series Facebook page. Uh, here, I'll blow these guys away. Hello, Nishad. How are you? Kelly wanting to move her maneuver around the nine here. Yeah. Sorry, the seven. She left a combo. They're going to go for it. They wanted to be better on this, but the seven was on the line that they wanted to be on. Yeah, and it's a combo here. I was going to say, what about the carom? But it's too thin of a cut yeah. for the carom. Big shot here in the second set. Yeah, the tens off the rail a little bit, so it can be missed. If he gets too close to the rail first. Try. Just like that. But look at this. He played it two-way. Yeah, he hit it pretty well. It's just one of those shots where, you, you know, you, you got to give yourself the best chance to make it. It's such a high level difficulty. When you miss it by that little, it's kind of a tough roll. Standard side rail to side rail safe here. Trying to avoid the window. Looks like he might have left the right edge of the five. Which means the cue ball will probably be coming right back behind the six. Yeah. Now for those of you in the YouTube chat, please share the share the stream. Get all your buddies out here. If you want to have fun with us, now's the time. Surprise him, go, try to go at it thinner with less speed. Good shot. Kind of in between here. Let's see what Cole has in mind. Cutting the five to the right, bringing the cue ball around two rails with a bunch of left spin. Calling the five because it could bank into the eight and go towards the corner. I'm not sure if she's playing safe or she's trying to make this. Off the eight, just in case. Aha, cue ball. Did she lose it? Right down the drain. Cue ball was always going to go in that area. I just wanted to either hit it a little thicker or a little more left spin. So, big break for Kazakis and Fisher here. Ball in hand to start. Natural position over for the seven, just a bit of right spin. Could choose to stun it as well. Kelly overall plays with a little less spin. Went with the spin on that one. I love the fact here in the YouTube chat, Patsy Elias says, hit the thumbs up button, <laughs> all caps. <laughs> Of 
Oh, did she slide up too far? No, just perfect. Yeah. Just perfect. Medalla Light, Ramsa Puerto Rico. Kamui, Samsung TV, Pro Billiard TV. Yalin, all your sponsors bringing you this mixed doubles tournament. It's all being played on the Predator Apex nine foot table on the Akati cloth, the Arcos balls, the arena lights. Solid play from Fisher and Kazakis. Looking to take a 2 0 lead here in the second set. And it's looking like a repeat of the first. Which, if it does go that way and they go three and then three, and we go to a third deciding set, it brings in the shootout. Yeah, we had a, we had a shootout in the semifinal of the. Women's event yesterday. Centeno making all five shots. So uh, missing the fifth. Going to be Fisher to break here in the third game. Hit a big break on the opening rack of this set. Ended up being a break and run. I think they should get team names like the like the amateur events. Make their own team name, whatever they want to be called. Yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> that would. Uh, uh what would you? What name would you give these guys? You got an these international guys? field here. Yeah. Now, how about tsunami for uh, Ko and Weiwei? Sure. And uh, what would we call uh, Kelly and Alex? They're both from island countries, not not tropical islands. I don't know if we could go with that or not. Greek and United Kingdom. What, how would you? Uh, what would be a good one? Let's leave that up to the chat. What do you guys think? <laughs> what would you name Alex Kazakis and Kelly Fisher? What would you call their pairing? Oh, look at this safety. Vicious. Yeah, position was too tough there. Just backed off. Got a real strong safe out of it. Does and have room between the 7 10. Gonna have to play some left spin. And actually, I believe that Kelly and Alex are both Predator sponsored players. Now, I know Weiwei is also, but I'm not, I, well, I know that uh, Ko is not. Own brand of Q, he plays with the Zen Q. Their own tips, their own jump Q. Brand of his own. All pocketing here for Fisher, her strength. Look for her to make this. <laughs> nice shot. Uh, there's a good one in the chat. It says Special K. There you go. <laughs> With strawberries or without? <laughs> <laughs> Position judged very nicely there, coming across the angle. Pretty much perfect again. Alex's position has been on point in this match. He really has. And I mean, more than on point, most of them have been ball in hand yeah. positions. The perfect angle every time. Just going to want to get straight enough on this six. Or you can easily draw the cue ball back past the side pockets for the seven in the side.
Uh, Mark says uh, souvlaki. I was thinking about some kind of food reference. Uh -huh. I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> get it, though. That's pretty good. So uh, what is the F-L-A-K-I? F-L-A-K-I, exactly, souvlaki. So that's and then something. telekinetic says yeah. the islanders. I was, I was thinking about something with the islands, yeah. Good ones, guys, good ones. There's got to be more than three of you out there. Watch them flood the flood the comments, and I can't keep up. <laughs> Going to take the ten in the long pocket here. Just minimize the cue ball movement on the last two balls. Ooh, got a little too much angle. I think she's going to have to move it now. Just Back and forth or around the horn? They're talking about it right now. I I like the three rails forward here. You have to yeah, fall through the ball good. Got to put that spin on and just oh, really She's going to stun gonna it go. back two yeah. rails. It means it brings both side pockets into play. Good shot. But when you hit it like that, the only thing that's going to play is perfect shape on the 10 hmm. for game number three. What a performance here overall by Fisher and mm -hmm. Kazakis. I haven't even seen many strong performances like this in the singles. <laughs> Top play. Uh, there was a little discussion there between James Mitchell and uh, Kasakis, and I think he was telling them to back off to give the other team a chance to play. <laughs> I'm being, I'm just kidding, folks out there. <laughs> uh, trying to make a little light here. 3-0 score. We want to see the other team at the table, too. Kazak is with the break in rack four. The stats for uh, for uh, Team Souflaki must be um, must be really high. They're, what's their performance? Overall performance, nine hundred. Wow. One wanting to go in. The one going in. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Threatening the pocket, like you said. And I rudely interrupted. It's okay. We're going to be like the couples out there. Eric's going to reach over and just slap me. <laughs> well, greetings to you, Jimmy Craven. And Bonnie says the dream team. <laughs> Mary Ann Merrill says, strawberries and chocolate. Good shot there from Way, maintaining angle for moving the three towards the four. You draw between the seven and the side pocket here. Talk about pinpoint position. That was a good one. Yeah. And with his queuing action, uh, that's what you get out of Copigny. Rest the racks open. Bit of movement from six to seven. See if we can get a full replay. She didn't come out far enough, did she? No, it's going to have to slow the cue ball down here. I think he can withdraw on two rails. If he fires this uh, ball to the side, he's going to have to put some pace on. He's going to have to go up and down. Yeah, he's looking at being able to hold it, but it might not be there. And stay on the left side of the table so that he doesn't get behind a 7-8. He's going to cut it. This will take some pace.
<laughs> he did hold it. Look at this shot. Great shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. He left let a lot of the English do the do the walking there. Yeah, kind of checked the cue ball mm -hmm. off the short rail, slowed it down. Did they script this? <laughs> we'll win the first three games. You win the next three games. Right. In the, in the exact same fashion too. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of locked them out at the beginning of the set both times. Nice power up there from Ko. Oh, straight on the eight. It's okay. I'll just draw straight back. Get the cue ball about where it is now. Just a little higher, I would think. Just to get a little, yeah, just right where it is. Yeah, if you, if you stay straight enough on it, you can yeah. stay on the far side of the table. Uh, she got, stayed too straight. Yeah. She had to come back a little more, and see, that's what she's laughing about. Yeah, I'm right down the line here. He's actually dead straight in, yeah. where it's too dangerous to even cheat the pocket. So he's just going to draw straight back. Nice shot. Made it easy enough for away here. And game number four goes to Wei and Co. First break of the fourth of the second set. Might have the choice of who breaks first in the set. In that case, it would probably be Co to break. And Fitzy Fitz says, Ontario in the house. It's good to hear Big Red in the booth. Yeah, it's my friend Ryan. Say, I'll say hi to him right now, if I'm assuming if he's on the chat. Hope to see you soon. Co going from the side rail here. Breaks have been overall successful in this match. This, this match has been very high quality. It really has. We've seen positioning from Alex. I'm going to have to say, like what you said earlier, I, he's looked better than he has in singles. Yeah. Cole making the one on the side there. Safes aren't easy here. Could bring the cue ball behind the eight. That's what Cole's talking about right now. Has to be well, has to be properly executed because the two is going to end up near the corner. They've actually called it in case it does go in. Cue ball going to get up enough? It it's close. It might have gotten up enough on, on the eight where they can't see this. It's close, real close. They don't seem happy. I don't know that they'd be celebrating about a shot like that, but kind of first look at the body language is that it doesn't go. Or pardon me, that it does go. Yes, oh, it, it does. does go. Yeah, so this is going to take a nice straight, good stroke to get the ball back up. Yeah, they're just worried about the straightness here, but they can power through the angle. Like hitting this with top left, two rails forward. It's a funny shot where you can actually swerve the cue ball kind of into the object ball and have the cue ball follow into the pocket. <laughs> Not to take away from the action in the game there on the table, but someone came up with a Look pretty good one. The cue ball follow, I called that before it happened. Sorry, go ahead, George. Uh, grease lightning. That's a good one. <laughs> 
Yeah, you have to do some kind of some kind of combination of the nicknames, right? So yeah. we got we got um, well, uh, Quick Fire Quick and, and Alex. Said Alex have a nickname? Sure. I don't think he has. Must a have something somewhere. Spartacus or something. Spartacus. I, I can't remember. <laughs> was Spartacus Greek? Yeah, I think he was, wasn't he? I think so. A oh, Roman. Roman. He Roman. was Roman. Yeah, yeah, no, so it wouldn't be that. Too much angle here, but he'll cinch this ball in. Fortunate thing is the left's kind of taking the cue ball into the nine, so you might have to hit it with straight high, which you'd rather be able to put some left on this ball. Could put a bunch of left to see. He's kind of worried about playing it with straight high here. Good shot. Now, do you stay above the 10 or try to come below you know, against the rail? He wants it all the way against the rail. Yeah, I personally like play, trying to play overplay the position here, mm -hmm. which I would call that, like, you know, playing above the side pocket. <laughs> I just noticed my ringer wasn't off on my phone, and I heard a ding right there. Oh, someone, Nico, says uh, Alex's nickname is Katsuki. Katsiki. Katsiki. Okay. Kazabubu. I remember that now. That Kazabubu now that I'm or thinking, Katsiki? Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Shot there from Ko. Unfortunately, ended up straight in. They're having a bit of a laugh at it. They'll have to stay longer on the 10. I don't think it's worth drawing over to the side rail. He's saying just draw it back a bit, get a little closer. And how about this one for a nickname for Alex? Gaziki Kazabubu. <laughs> Oh, wow, you saw oh, the pocket oh, there. Oh, oh. Uh, must be snowing outside because that one sure wiped its feet. <laughs> Three, two now. Same script as last set. Taipei fighting back. Keep in mind that we're all having fun here in this one day event. We are at the CSI Expo, the greatest pool experience in the world. BCA World Championships and uh, USA National Championships, along with the Predator Pro Billiard Series, the Las Vegas Opens, men's and women's, the mixed doubles. Uh, tomorrow starts the Women's Showdown, the Pro Billiard Series Women's Showdown. 16 of the best players in the women players in the world will be playing nine ball for you. And then the Predator World 10 ball championships. Back down to serious business and a world championship at stake. Way up to break here in rack six. Yeah, That's what decent. you call parking the cue ball. Yeah, it was a nine. Yeah, nice and square, nines down. No shot on the one. Just going to leave the right edge of the one here. Incoming team will have to figure out a way to hide the cue ball. Coming up table. He's considering something more direct. Not quite sure what the safe would be off of there. Maybe hitting it thinly and trying to play the cue ball behind the eight. Either that or tie something up. Just a good push. 50-50 proposition. Cut the one into the five. Not always going to get safe if you do that. You can play safe to the right of the three, uh, right of the one and come around the eight. Yeah. 
Using the three and the eight as blockers, five to slow the one down. Caught it a little thick. Oh boy. Yeah. And since this is an international field, he caught that mucho thick. Mm -hmm. Layup safe behind the five here. Uh -huh. Offense is tempting, too, because the two's right there. It doesn't have to do much with the cue ball. She has called it in the corner. Maybe the side, actually, just in case. Can't really play both, though, because the cue ball will be playing behind the five. Oh, very nice shot. Tucked him in nicely behind the five. Oh, it's a tough kick, especially to figure out under shot clock stipulations. Not sure if they have their extension or not. See, they're, they're all over the table looking for any kind of rail they can get at the one with. Maybe they should get an eraser <laughs> and erase the five. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to come too tight, but then you go into the third rail maybe and hit it. That might be the only shot. Bunch of left spin. Tricky part here is you'd want to hit it slower speed which is going to leave a safe but I think they're just trying to hit it at this point what a hit great shot by Kelly Whoa. There. got out of that trap not to the point where Taipei doesn't have anything offensive but didn't give up ball in hand great effort from Fisher Cue ball is playing into the 4-6 here, which is actually what Taipei wants. Just playing safe. Some of those angles, I think, look a little thicker than they actually are on the table. I mean, that one mm -hmm. looked thin enough to me that you would just go after it, but obviously he would have if it, w if it was uh, makeable. Yeah, but look how good he did here. Yeah, open up the 4 as well. Sure. Smart shot. Oh, look, and it, it goes. No. Oh, my. I think our crowd woke up. <laughs> yeah, fans getting into this. Sure. The finals of this tournament will be fun. I, oh. can, I guarantee you the, the, the stands will be packed. I hope that table set up for us. We'll see what, we'll see what strings we can pull. Good kick there from Wang. Wow. Some defensive, a lot of de nice defensive exchanges here. No one giving up ball in hand. Wei Wei very happy with that shot. And Ko walked by and uh, kind of complimented her on it. Good shot. Great shot. This lady jumps very well, too. Try, right. Yeah, she does. Seen her in many big spots. Mm -hmm. Shooting game-winning jumps. It's finished okay for Fisher and Kazakis. Don't know if Ko can play enough left on this to carry him in the seven. I wonder if he's trying to think of a way to get the cue ball behind those uh, other balls. And I think he just found it. Oh, Ooh. no. Didn't want to hit that. 
All right, first chance of the rack's going to go to Kazakis and Fisher. Bit of a challenge on the pocketing on the first shot here. Could go to either pocket. Personally, I'd prefer the side, but I understand if he wants to play it in the corner. Does play it in the corner. Bit of a bigger pocket. Just depends if you like targeting the closer pocket or playing the bigger one. Good look at that Predator Q with that small extension on it. A little, was it three inch extension or two inch? Something like that. Yeah, right down to the end of their shot clock there. I mean, that was one of those ones where they're kind of talking about it, not faulting them, just saying how it comes up in matches. They're kind of talking about shooting one of two shots, and then all of a sudden, by the time you're down on it, you only have 15 seconds. Shot was missable regardless. So big chance here from Taipei. Perfect position. Not much key ball movement for the next four balls. Depends if the three runs into the five. If it does, it probably won't move it much. Next order of business is going to be getting straight enough on the five where you can draw straight back to the six. I had a little more angle there. Had to move the cue ball. It did well. Talk about a star pattern. Stop it. There you are. Over to the right a little bit. Only one pocket for the six. Way wants, way way wants this cue ball to be just a little closer to the six ball than she is now. A little more in a straight line. Yeah, you can cheat the left part of the pocket and keep the cue ball off the rail here. Be careful though; you're shooting it with speed. Don't want to cheat it too much. Looking at Hill Hill again in the second set. It's been a very close match, played at a very high level from both teams. And that's what you would expect out of the best players in the world. Yeah, I actually would have put Cohen Way as uh, almost the pre-tournament favorites. They're in, in jeopardy of el elimination here. All teams are strong, though. It's rare that you go into a tournament where you can you can say that every team or every player and forward two rails coming across the line. Yeah, has to. Drawing angle won't get him close enough to the ten. Good shot. Remember whose break it is, George? I don't. Might be no, ways. I don't. It is Coe's, actually, I think. It's who grabs the break, you. Way hasn't, so you may be right. Yep, there yep. he goes. This is kind of fun to watch the players go back to their chair with smiles. And the other team, a bit concerned, but still not, you know, they don't, they're not dreading it. Yeah, they're well, it. yeah, it's, it's something different for these players, yeah. but they're used to being out there on their own. I mean, exactly. you know, 95% of pool is, is played solo, right? So when they have someone else to talk to, they're, they kind of want to do that. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I'm not here on my own now. I have support, right? Yeah, when you're on your own, you're like a gladiator in the arena. Yeah. You grab your sword and you come to the table. Okay, Hill Hill here in the second set. 
Taipei is into the, able to win this game. They'll force a third set. I, I like this comment in the chat. Charles Fair says, I enjoy watching any matches as long as they are not using a purple five ball. He <laughs> doesn't know how much I agree with him. <laughs> uh, that's To me, that is the craziest. It, it, it throws everything off in my old head. Yeah, it still gets me every time I every every first few rounds or maybe even later on if I'm not paying mm -hmm. close attention. And my heart still goes out to poor Joey Tate when he shot the wrong ball playing Shane. I remember. Yeah. Coast telling her to play the cue ball behind the two here. Oh, maybe the cue balls. Why would he say to go all the way up there? Trying to get behind the eight. I think he's saying go between the two eight all the way up table. It's like, not sure why though. Why don't you just use the two? That's oh, a, that's an odd shot. I mean, you're creating more distance, it, but and that and it's going to get against the rail and leave an opening. Unless they were trying to hit the th the three ten. I mean, you're going to create more distance going that way, but it's just it's so much tougher to control the cue ball when you're moving at 10 feet. Well, the way these two have handled uh, the table, it they've run out every table they've come to just about. So Yeah. Yeah, they, well, they're trying to put them under more pressure there. Yeah. Ooh, jinx, worked. Jinx them. Yeah, the distance showed up. Can't tell how available the three is into the bottom right. Definitely is available in the top left. Or the right middle. Unlikely to play the side. It is an op it could be an option though, coming below the ten. I was gonna play this with, with some left spins down the same side of the table. How about the carom, George? On the ten? I yeah. like it a lot. I don't know. It's I think I'd rather play that carom than a, than a, oh, it's a little high. You're going to have to hit it with uh, left spin, so you're going to have to catch it real thin. Yeah, the, the 10's kind of leading into the short mm -hmm. rail a bit. Mm -hmm. And the spin's going to kind of push it out a little bit, and that'll be, that should compensate. Just don't hit the nine ball, because uh, they'll get ball in hand. Just caught her two, two over top of the nine there. Had to back off. Oh, boy. A good shot here. Could close it out. Although it's very hard to hold for the for the carom. Yeah, I think you're going to have to run into it sure. here. And look what the 10 ball is going to do. Oh, almost did. I thought it was going to cover up the cue ball. Yeah. Oh, whatever I did, we just lost 18 viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Big four ball wall over on the left side of the table. Likely playing the cue ball back to that area. They're considering something offensive. It's pretty tough. I guess if you tried the three in the side, the five or seven could cover where the cue ball is going to end up. Unless it hits the point. Oh, big break for uh, Ko and Wei. Who's coming to the table to shoot? Looks like Ko is. They're both taking a look at this. I think it's going to be defense again. Cue ball behind the eight if they can track it naturally enough to the left. Cue ball might be playing too much into the side rail. You're going to go that way? Oh, he's calling it to the corner? Yeah. It's just he's he's going to go behind the 10 with the cue ball then. Yeah, going to favor that mm -hmm. left side of the table. Lots of coverage over there. Nice shot. Is cue ball hard enough? Oh, no. Yes. He's okay. 
I was looking for some body English from, uh, yes it is. Two rail kick. Is that eight in the way for the for the two rail kick? I think you just take it higher up the rail and yeah. spin it a little more. Yep, I was gonna say. That answers that. Cue ball. There goes the cue ball. Oh, this is big. We might get our wish. Yeah, looking like a third set here. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to see three sets in a shootout. Give you the whole flavor of the Pro Billiard Series. Good comeback from Taipei. Trying to think in my mind what mistakes Fisher and Kazakis really made. They weren't they weren't big ones, that's for no. sure. No. Uh, Kelly missed that one ball that was straight down the rail. Tough shot, yeah. On this game. It wasn't a hanger. It was makeable. Hey, where'd all those smiles go? Because <laughs> 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 they know it's crunch time now. Oh, here. Uh, <laughs> Someone is still trying to name these two. Moussaka team. Sure. We've got to include both countries. That's some sure. It's th they don't really have any obvious links, I don't think. But I like the name. O I like the name reference. The special yeah. K was okay. Special K was good. The grease lightning was good. Yeah. I don't see how this does not go to a third and deciding set. Yeah, what a treat. Can I jinx things from here? I don't think so. I'll, I'll, I'll make her at 99% and a lot of decimals with a lot of nines. Good <laughs> shot. And there it is. On to a third and deciding set. If we are tied at three games in this set, it will go to a shootout. We're going to take a break as the players will.
Well, we are back. The players are back in the arena, and we are back. And I was just informed that it's uh, very, very early morning hours in Taipei, Chinese Taipei, and everyone's sleeping. Well, wake them up. Can't, don't they know that uh, Ko Pin Yi and Wei Tu Chen are on playing on, on the stream? Breaking the third and deciding set. Wei Wei. Four rails on the two, no, declined. Uh, shot on the one. Looks like yes. Just gonna mention this because I've I've seen it happen a lot throughout the course of the tournament. I think some players are purposely trying to spin the cue ball with, let's say, right spin if they're breaking from that side of the table to kind mm -hmm. of throw the one towards the side pocket. They just can't solve making the one consistently, though. One of the top players mentioned it to me. He said he was trying it on purpose and it was working more often. Than not? Yeah. Okay. The thing that happens, though, when you hit that much spin is it takes purity out of the cue ball. You know, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just the cue ball is not as... Like doesn't have as much energy in it because it's exactly. spinning sideways, the power, sure. right? I, I totally agree with that. I was, in fact, I was as, as you were mentioning that, take using spin instead of angle. Wouldn't the angle work better in the force? Yeah, I would think. So, like Cho was trying that yesterday too, and and she went on a bad run in uh, in the middle of the redraw in the women's singles where she didn't make up, like barely made a ball for ten breaks, and she was trying to spin it like that too, right? They're doing whatever they can to try to make something positive happen. I'm just, just mentioning something that I've noticed. Well, I guess everybody in uh, Chinese Taipei got mad at me because we lost 200 viewers. Hmm. They went back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Fisher and Kazakis in good line here. Like, I think if you hit that break at a real high level, like not too much spin, and, and, and like you were saying, the exact cut angle, it'll help. But it's difficult to, you know, be deflecting the cue ball in at high speed, all those things. I'm just not sure if it's the best plan overall. Is it going to get behind the six? It, yes. Oh, it fell right over. Yes, it did. That's a weird one. Can kick out at it half ball. They're actually lo they're looking at if it's available in the corner. Uh, ten's blocking it. Yeah, you might have to play the ten. He's going to jump at it, stay aggressive here. Yeah, they're oh, playing the oh, ten. Oh, so a two-way, like a half-ball carom. I thought they could see enough to cut it down the rail into the ten. It's a big ball. There's lots of ways to make it. I guess, yeah, you'll, you'll get distance even if you cut into it. They might yeah. be going right into it. No, I think he's going with the carom. Okay. No, he went, he went straight at it. And will we have fire two at it? Yeah, decent result here. It's close. If the 10 was just a little bit closer to the corner pocket, I'd favor the combo, but he is going to go on the side. Got to slow the cue ball down here with draw. Coming back two rails towards the six. Used all the pocket there. Was able to get around the eight. Taipei looking good in this first rack now. You know, one of the names here in the chat is Vigelis Stefanopoulos. Makes me think of Baklava. Definitely a Greek. That is a great Greek. One of my favorite desserts. I love desserts. Sweet tooth all the way. Haven't had any really good baklava in a lot of years. I used to have a little, a very good friend of ours, uh, Kotsambasis. They had a restaurant in Tucson when I was back at the U of A. So this is way back in the 70s. And they had the best baklava. 
ever. Yeah, there's a big Greek community in Toronto. There's a whole area, a whole Greek town, a whole area of the city where you can just get any kind of Greek mm -hmm. food you want, and experience Greek culture. It's It varies so much, though, you know, the, the baklava, with the amount of, you know, like honey and nuts that they put in it. Different the regions. Yeah, different regions. And meanwhile, opening up the third and deciding set, Cohen Way have made quick work of this track. Well, I've been reading uh, the chat here and uh, have worked their way to this rather routine 10 ball and take the first game of the third and deciding set. It's really the, sorry, George. It's really their first lead of the whole exactly. match. That's exactly where I was going to go. And this, uh, you know, think the way things started out, it's been a complete turnaround. This match started like a runaway for Kelly and Alex in the first in the first set when they went ahead three to nothing, and you know, as you said, high level play, uh, pretty much running out every rack. Yeah, they've shown that they, they can run, break and run out, mm -hmm. run on off the first chance. So expect a very competitive third set here. Reminder that if it does go hill hill in the third set, we'll be going to a shootout. So first goal for both teams will be to get to three. That'll give them a little cushion, mental edge, knowing that the worst they can do is a shootout at that point. And someone just mentioned in the chat that baklava is not Greek. Really? Well, I well I, I do know. Uh, uh, I think Turkey uses it. Lebanese uh, people. Uh, it's one of their one of their great desserts too. So I'm sure we'll hear more of it. Nine balls down. Coast looking to play the cue ball, or Coast telling way to play the cue ball behind the six seven here. And then she better make sure to catch a rail. Or is she going to go to the rail with the cue ball and come back towards the six seven? No, she's going straight into it, and she's done a great job of it. Yeah, it took away both side rails. Yeah. Might have just enough past the side pocket here. Bunch of right spin. Nice hit by Alex, and he's going to find cover. Uh, no. It looked like the 10 ball might, I mean, the cue ball might come behind the 10 there. But it didn't. Not a lot of offense here. Will he uh, play into the safety behind the six? Yeah, it's tough because you'll have to draw the cue ball. Looks like he's going offense. Trying to combo the three in. Nice shot. Controlled the one nicely. A little thin for a wave, but she'll be trying it. Oh, the good thing is not much to do with the cue ball here. Mm -hmm. He comes straight across for the for the position on the two. Inside uh, of the pocket, too thin. Overcut it just a hair, didn't she? Yeah, you? thin. Just a hair. Missed it by the slimmest of amounts there. Gonna have to draw straight back out of this. I think the rail first option plays the cue ball too far to the left. A little unlucky there, getting in one of the worst spot she could be well the one good thing about this if she if he can cut this to the corner 
the line to the two ball, the four ball plays real nice. Yeah, and he, rail. he can slow it down. Oh, interesting. Came oh, well, yeah. I didn't think he'd come that way. I thought he'd come on the other side of the five. Yeah, natural angle was too wide. He recognized it. Knew it would come out short of the side pocket. Good shot. Could have ran into it better, but still available for Kazakis. Highly competitive match so far. Good safe exchanges. Both teams taking advantage of really high percentage of the time when they get the first offensive chance. Kido Kwan, you're right. It's an exhibition game, but there's some money involved here. First place is $10,000. Second place is $5,000 for each team. Uh, all teams all teams will be receiving at least $1,250. Fifth through eighth. Third and fourth get $2,500. So, yes, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but, you know, even with a 1250, they can find a nice dinner somewhere in Las Vegas. And Kelly has leaked out the six ball. Yeah, shot clock got low on her there. Was worried about the execution time. Just didn't quite judge it how she wanted. Nice shot by Ko there. That, that's a shot that a lot of amateurs especially will hit real hard. They just don't trust the speed to make the cut. Yeah, too much traffic going up table. And that's a 2-0 lead in the third and deciding set. They're one game away from the worst they can do is a shootout if it's tied at three, which means that Kelly and Alex will have to work hard to get these games back and tie things up. And they're sitting there discussing, what are we going to do? And what's Alex saying? What do you think? Run out. <laughs> Run out, baby. Just, just win, baby. I don't know if you guys know that reference. But uh, just win, baby? Yeah. No, which was it from? Al Davis, the coach of the Raiders. Oh, okay. It, it reminds me of a lot of these uh, photos you see on social media. Caption this. Right. It's a photo of someone. That was a good one. What's that? <laughs> Caption this as they talk to each other. Breaking in the third game of the third set. See, go, go with that spin break again. Spun the eight in the side. Just kidding. <laughs> He's hitting it square, giving herself a mm -hmm. good chance. But yeah, I, the amount of times the cue ball is coming up with spin like that, they have to be trying it on purpose. Do you think there's a risk? If he cuts this in, can he ri is he risking going off the four and scratching? Yeah, I think he's going to have to try to draw to the left. Yeah. And if he does, he'll run into the 5-9, which will help him overall for the run out. That uh, 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 a comment in the chat actually reminded me. I think Alex's brother has a hamburger stand in or a shop in Greece. Okay. I think. I'm not 100% sure. 
because someone says, Alex, where are we eating? <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, I, I seem to, that, that brought that to, to mind. I think the carom side, the one rail side of the one plays better into the 10 here. Probably be trying to go below it though, just to play the kick safe element of the shot more. What a nice hit. Yeah. Tough result there. Yeah. Not happy with the result, but a nice hit to keep from giving up ball in hand. Move the 10 ball into a more makeable area, but nothing really close by to threaten it being played. Yeah, I believe the six passes the 10. Gonna have to get the cue ball in a small area for the five. All balls pocket ball here though. Good opener from Way. Natural angle back to the three. Good angle where he just pointed to will give him a nice line to come in for the five. is a little tough to hold it for the for the five ball here. Let's see what he does with this. Will he go out with a little bit of outside and hold it? He can come up too close to where the spot would be. Uh, he might have gone too far. It's close. If yeah, he did, he can just stop the cue ball behind the nine. Yeah. This looks like they are going to back off, maybe even getting aggressive and playing the five into the spot where he can combo into yeah. the ten. That's exactly what he's doing. I love this type of a shot to win a quick game. I just, the only thing that's wrong with it, not wrong with it, but that's danger is they make a good kick and make the 10. Or it leaks out. Yeah, that's why you gotta try to freeze the cue all behind the nine. There was room. Oh, there was room to make it. Oh, no reward. Is he forced to go for the 10? It's not forced, but it's, a, I think he might. Would you consider going for the 10 with the cue ball? And here's how I would, as I look at this, it, I would hit it almost full, follow, the, follow the, off the six into the 10 with the cue ball and send the six ball four rails uh, to, the head, to the head rail. That's a great shot. The only thing there is that the, the six seven. might hit the nine or the seven, six exactly. might hit the seven. Yeah. But I think you can still create enough distance. Mm -hmm. And it's it's actually a bigger ball than you than you think. It's not an easy shot. Mm -hmm. he's, he's what is he trying? He's mm. playing the six into the ten. Yeah, and gonna draw it to create distance. This is this is a good shot too. Nice shot. He went rail first. Right, and he knew the the six would end up near the short rail, similar to what you were thinking, just a little easier. Mm -hmm. He out <laughs> he out thought us there. Yeah, the similarity was he made a ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> playing a two-way element Great while shot. trying a combo. Yeah, good shot. And Great shot. Taipei has a big lead now in the third yeah. set, three nothing. I expected them to be strong. Fisher and Kazakis have put up as much resistance as a, as they've could, and it's not over yet. But Taipei finally has them in a bad spot in this yeah. match. Both teams have won their games in sets of three. Yeah, it shows how strong they're playing because sure. it's winter breaks, right? So, yeah. you know, they're they're breaking, they're making a ball, holding control of the table. It's happened both ways here now. I don't think we've seen a break and run, though. Uh, not more than two, yeah. They started off, Kelly and Alex started off the second set with one. I don't know if there was one other than that. 
But yeah, just overall good exchanges. Didn't make one this time. Oh, the one ball's dressing up. And we'll see how much. <laughs> now can um, Grease Lightning come up with three games to tie things up and send it to a shootout? Everything in the open here. Shot from Kazakis, getting nice and close to the two, making the position easier for Fisher. I think she can come up one rail and play the three in the same pocket. Does he hit the five if he comes straight back? Could. He has to judge the angle properly. I think likely he'll play long of it. Oh. Nice shot. have been out in the open this team has looked very very solid in running them out yeah they've really been beat on the moving end of the game I think uh oh cue ball Regardless, going to be too straight. Oh, wow. Oh, no, he's got just enough angle. Yeah, yeah. But I, I thought like you did till it laid on a rail. Uh, that's pretty straight, but he's got just enough to come off. I would follow it, hit the rail, and then come back out for the seven on the bottom part of your table for the corner there of your screen, excuse me. Just like this. Good oh, shot. Nice recovery there. Back Very in nice. line now. So remember, Kazakis and Fisher don't actually have to get all the way to the point where they win the set. They only have to get to three to force the shootout. So they'll be looking, they'll be trying to take some positive momentum in the news, into these next two games here. This 10 ball to put their mark on the scoreboard. They got to get to three to send it to a shootout or face elimination. James Mitchell, the referee. He's from, 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 from Post Falls, Idaho. Some of the American referees having to uh, get licensed to be part of the European referee group. It's good. The more knowledge you have, mm -hmm. the more situations you can deal with. Asia and Europe have been ahead of North America as far as 
refereeing for a while. John Lehman, kind of the pioneer of getting all the refs organized in North America. John having some health issues at the time. Everyone um, send him your best wishes, prayers. This is looking good for Kazakis and Fisher. The combo's wired enough that they'll be able to control the three. And Jeronimo Izeta says, Saludos desde Buenos Aires, Argentina. How's that? Watching from all around the world. All Very around nice. the world, that's right. Love it. Keep them coming. Says he's coming to play in Las Vegas, the U.S. Open. That's next week. Or is he talking? Yeah, he's, that's next week here. At Griff's, yeah. At Griff's. Three ball's going to stay right near the eight. Zachis and Fisher back on the offensive train here. A little thin, but they need the angle to come up table. Zach is going to track the cue ball back between the 6-10 here. Kind of looked like he was putting some outside on it. I don't know, maybe just the way he was cueing. I don't really like that. You're going to play into the 9-10 that way. Or, or into the 6. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could be going yeah. to the right of the yep. 6. which should allow him to get by the 10. But there's also a pocket down here. He went to the right of the six, as you mentioned, and got straight in. He's trying to kick it off the rail with body English. They can still draw into the long pocket here, get the cue ball back where it is now. Get too close to it? No, that's a great shot. Couldn't, couldn't have played it any better than that. Oh my! Just a little follow here. Be aware of the side pocket. Should be okay, but be aware. Smallest angle going to the right. She'll be able to get off the rail for Alex here. Good rack from them, one game away from making it Hill Hill in the shootout. Just a little follow. What a match we've had so far. Yes. Both teams fighting yes. from behind, both teams playing well to get ahead. I'm surprised he, he kept it back. I like falling that I way. like that fall. I like falling, just falling a little straighter. Uh, uh. Think about the draws, you can hit it a little more aggressively, but at, at first sight, that looked like a follow to me. Mm. And they get their two games. This almost looks scripted. Three, three, and one, and three, four. Flipping the script on each other. Yes, exactly right. I wonder if there was a lot to um, to that team meeting before the tournament. <laughs> they Ooh. had them all in a room and uh, they all discussed the rules. I'll tell you what, we, we played the, uh, the Pagulain Cup, who was the best five players in Ontario against the best five players in Quebec. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you couldn't have scripted it any better. It was a race to 13 sets, so long, like over three days, right? right. And it went hill, hill in sets and hill, hill in games in the in the last set. Two best players faced off, like Captain Picks. It was a Moscone Cup-style tournament. Mm -hmm. John Mora played the best player from Quebec, Danny Hewitt. And it was just, I don't know. It was kind of an exhibition-style right. thing. You know, we, we all put in 100%. That's just the way it ended up. Sure. That, see, it's things like that that are great for the sport. Like this tournament here. Um, I can see, for instance, our viewership here is, I would say, rather low for the quality of the tournament that we watched and seen. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and the other the other stream of course with three times almost four times the amount of viewers but there's a big big time zone difference it's four o'clock five o'clock in the morning and in there in the area of the of these two players here right and uh you know it's noon for these guys over on the other table but uh what this is this is what brings viewers in uh, i've seen comments on social media regarding gender related comments that hey this is great for both genders to play out to play together things of this nature because there's so much talk about the men playing so much better than the women or the women playing being able to play equal with the men things like that and so this is the this is the kind of stuff i think we really need yeah well i mean if you look at how things have gone in this match th there's been no gender gap both, no not at all, all four players are yeah. playing great i mean and this is this is the level that women's pool has risen to sure well, you have one woman, Simi Chen, on the verge of becoming over 800 of what I call elite players. Right. She's a 797 in the Fargo Fargo rates. Closest woman to being over 800. Nice shot there from Wei. Chance here for Taipei to close the match out. Six is going to have to be negotiated. Could consider playing from the four into the six. Probably not, though, because too risky of getting behind the seven. Good shot by Ko there. There are a couple angles where you can play into the short side of the six and play the six in the left, pocket, left side pocket. That's kind of what he's looking at now, getting a one rail angle where he can track the cue ball across. I don't think they'll play into the combo. It's too tough. <laughs> I love their sense of urgency, urgency because of the time clock. Right. Yeah, they move around kind of like uh, hopping around the table. Well, both, both teams have negotiated that well. We talked about that at the outset of the match. You know, it's yeah. like if you're coaching, you're kind of using up some of that clock, but they've found a way to keep things pretty smooth here still. Well, I think very smooth, uh, Eric. I mean... I don't recall more than maybe three extensions throughout the whole match. Mm -hmm. Like experienced professionals, right? I mean, maybe even if they don't have experience at this exact format, they still know just instinctively how to deal with things. So it doesn't take much of an explanation to look how good he hit this ball to get on this, yeah. this six. Just a little too much angle, but he'll be happy with where he ended up there. Going to have to move the seven, see how this plays out. Both players there with the gold rush. The break cues from uh, Predator. Exact same one. How's this going to end up? Let's see how it ends up. Oh, no not way. good. That not was, good. That was the match wow. for Taipei there. <clears throat> there could be a carom, Ralphers carom. I think it's actually playing pretty big. For the carom? Yeah. Okay. If anything, it might not catch the 10 thick enough. It's going rail first. This is really a... Yeah, it was a, it was a tough, tough hit. Tough to judge. Look how fast Alex is grabbing his cue. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a little funny. The cue ball's playing into the corner, and it's hard to slow the cue ball down for the 8. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be forced into a slow roll. Oh, what happened now? That the was refs trying hit. to call a foul? I, I liked a good hit. Or maybe no, uh, no rail. They're going to figure out the proper call. Yeah, here. the seven hit okay. a rail. Okay. He was calling no rail. Yeah, the seven hit a rail oh. when it bounced off the roof. All right. When it came off. Yeah. Um, we could see Way was worried there. She's like, I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Well, I'd be worried here. too. <laughs> uh, We've had a couple of miscues so far. Yes. It'll... Uh, but, you know, those happen, just like they do in pool. I'd be really worried about the speed here. I agree. Because it, it, it takes a very good shot to slow roll this in. They've decided on something pretty quickly. They have to. Do you gamble and fire it? Oh, the natural angle is playing longer than I thought. Okay. 
Nice shot. And we're staring a shootout in the face here. Yeah, she wasn't only uh, worried about the scratch. She was worried about coming back down and getting behind the nine. Yeah, almost did. What a match. Tell you what, this ball's not down yet. Fisher is in her strong suit. I wouldn't do much with this. I would just pocket the ball and stay right there. Yep, keep the speed low enough sure. that the pocket accepts the ball. Solid cueing there from Fisher. Perfect speed, perfectly targeted. Making that look easy. And we're on our way to a shootout. What a match it's been so far. In groups of three, they stay solid. And into a shootout we go. And this is what you call the flavor of the month here in Las Vegas. You're getting every flavor and spice out of the Pro Billiard Series. The deciding set, which culminated into the shootout. On the very opening match on this table for the tournament. Looks like the stipulations for this are that you can, you can pick who shoots first. Makes sense. What we were talking about earlier seems to be what you're... Uh, one player can't shoot from the same side twice. Okay. That's what it looks like to me, how he's pointing it out. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of briefing yeah. required here. They haven't actually played this format in a doubles scenario before. And keep in mind that there's language barriers here with these two. Yeah, Way's, Way's English is good. Cole looks like he knows what's going on. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. there we go. Good. He's he's okay with that now. All righty. Here we go. The shootout. Four innings. They alternate pockets. At the end of four innings, if they are tied, it cue ball will be backed up one diamond in the same box that it's in now. And it'll comes to sudden death. If a player doesn't uh, they both don't make it on the same inning. Player that does make it wins. Oh, and Way opens up with a miss. What a big one. And the reason they got to go first was they won the lag. And by winning the lag, when it comes to the shootout, you have the option of going first or second choosing which side to shoot at first. Edge of the match back to Fisher and Kazakis. Holding the fate of the shootout in their hands. If they make all four, they can't be beat. No way. And an opening miss by Kelly Fisher. So it looks like the way they're going to do it is the women will shoot two first and then the men will shoot the last two. One from each side. Hmm. Well, I just see a, a um, comment in the chat. It's Shane and Allison got beat. They won the first set. Must have lost the next two. Well, that's, that's in the chat. Sure. Let's take a look. <laughs> I opened up the YouTube and I saw Kelly shooting again. Huh. Oh, 
Shot there. Both women making their second shots. Up to two shots each for the men now. Go oh, missing. So it's going to be Kazakis for the match here. They'll be tied at. No, oh, he'll be up by one, but they still have the fourth inning to go. That's a surprising miss from Ko there. Yeah, pardon me. Yes. There'll, be, there'll be two more shots. Yeah. Execution from Kazakis. Taipei will have to make this shot to stay alive in this match. Kazakis for the win. What a great match we've had here. Tough to see a loser. This shot wins it or sends it to a sudden death. And it's the win for the Kelly Fisher and Alex Kazaki's team. As some of you said it, um, Souflaki and uh, Grease Lightning, uh, Special K's. Thank you, everyone in the chat, for uh, your input. Thanks for being with us and uh, watching this game. You got the full flavor of the Pro Bitter Series. You got the races to four in excellent scripted fashion and then you got the shootout uh, and for those of you asking why not play one game what's more exciting than the shootout yeah great match lots of entertainment there everything on offer we're gonna be back within i think 10 or 15 minutes we're a little bit over time on this last time slot so if you're looking to watch some more pool stay with us and we'll have another doubles match coming up on this table quickly for george thay it's eric Corlifson. Talk to you guys soon.